Hello collectors, welcome to episode 57 of Statue Talk. I'm Joe Prodzik, with me as always, the Kato Kid Kwong Tran. Now Statue Talk is a show where Kato and I share our thoughts and opinions on upcoming statue previews, pre-orders, also share with you some updates to our collection, and some of our opinions on pop culture. So thanks for joining us on this week's episode. Now Kato, hit the music. I don't feel so good. All right, Cato, it's been a month since yeah. the last episode of Statue Talk. It has been. Two weeks ago, you missed the show, hanging out in Las Vegas. Was I in Vegas in two weeks ago? You were oh, in yeah. Vegas two yeah, weeks ago. We couldn't get the Skype to work with, oh, yeah, we with the software that we were using. Mm -hmm. um, so instead, no, that's not true at all. That is not true at all. Four weeks ago, yeah, I right? went solo. See, that's why I'm in Vegas. Like, two, two weeks ago, we did... Uh, Room tour. Yes. Flat, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, there you go. I was like, it had to been long ago. Longer than that. So it has been... Yeah. Wow. I think it's been six weeks since we did a joint episode yep. of our normal format, Statue Talk. Mm -hmm. So, Kato, you got to give us some updates. What have you been up to? Well, when I was in Vegas, was at EVO. I saw the grand finals of Dragon Ball Fighters, And also, I think, what was... And then we did see M Melee as well, which was pretty hyped. A lot of people went super crazy about that. Smash Brothers? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But Dragon Ball Fighters, it was pretty interesting because, like, you know how the cutscene happens right before you fight and the people charge up? So the, apparently the entire arena starts charging up and yelling. So oh. I thought it was really, really kind of cool. Other than that, I uh, just got LASIK, which is why I have shades on. Just got it done yesterday. So that's pretty much it. Also, school started for me. Finished God of War, actually. And, and so what's your rating of God of War? I gave it like 6.5 out of 10. Is that L what I said? Largely considered uh, one of the game of the year candidates for yeah. the year. Most people were giving it 9s and 10s, mm -hmm. but you're going to go ahead and give it a 6.5? Yeah, like a 6.5 or a 7 because for me personally, I think the gameplay is the best gameplay I've ever witnessed. But the storyline is trash. Sorry to, say, try, sorry to say that, but I just I feel like they could have worked better on it. I'm sorry, not even trying to hear San, you right now. Santa Monica 6. Studios. 6.5 out of 10. I'm sorry, but just the storyline just wasn't there. Keep drinking that haterade, yep. Kato. That mm -hmm. is one of the best games probably ever made. Yep. I haven't finished it yet. Kind of put my PlayStation away um, while I was redoing The Loft. Mm -hmm. um, but that is done. So, um, But we don't have a couch up there yet. I have a new TV. Got the uh, Sony A1E OLED up yep, there. Looking good. Got the PlayStation hooked up again. Um, so mostly for me, I've been playing a lot of PC games. Bouncing around between different PC games. A little Star Trek Online. A little Star Wars The Old Republic. A little Destiny 2. Yeah, that's how you playing that earlier. Looking forward to um, the Forsaken. Destiny 2 Forsaken yeah. expansion coming out. Also looking forward to... Um, Spider-Man. Yeah, which I'll I'll give a review next episode that we have technically because I should be done with it by then. Which is out in less than a week, right, Kato? Yeah, this, this upcoming Friday. And what are your initial thoughts of Spider-Man? Of the game? Yeah. As of right now, I'm honestly not hyped at all. But I just want to play it because I'm hoping it'll prove me wrong. I've heard there's like a huge thing on like Facebook about the downgrade. I honestly really don't care about that. But for me, I just I care mainly for a story. That's why for me... It, yeah, if I was to give God of War a final review, it would probably be like a 7. Because gameplay was great, storyline was not so great. And like we were talking about, Bat Batman, I mean this new Spider-Man game, this literally looks like a Batman Arkham game. Gameplay, again, it was great. But then again, storyline for Batman was really spot on. I really like Arkham City a lot. The story was great. I'm just hoping the gameplay is going to be like Batman because that was, that was great. Not the best, but it was great. But I'm just, I don't think the story is going to be there. That's thats what I'm worried about. I just don't think the story is going to be written well. Even though I think one of the main 
main storylines of Spider-Man didn't make the story for that game, but I'm I'm hoping, you know, he's not rusty or anything. Well, I am also looking forward to it. I think I'm going to wait until Kato finishes it, and I think I'm going to borrow it from him rather than uh, buying it myself. Because yeah. to me, it looks like a a game that's very similar to the Arkham games, mm-hmm. which I loved, some of my favorite games, but it looks like kind of a not as cool of a version for some reason. Yeah. That's just the impression that, that I am having. And Sucker Punch makes great games. I like the infamous games. Is yeah. it Sucker Punch? I thought it was Insomniac, or was it? I think it's Sucker Punch. I it was Insomniac was just making that game. Wow. Pretty sure it was Insomniac. I thought Sucker Punch made a movie. I don't know about the game. but mm, Maybe I'm totally wrong. Yeah. Maybe I'm totally wrong. I'm sur- sure the viewers will let us know. Yeah. Um, maybe I'm totally wrong. But um, looks like kind of a weaker version of the Arkham series. Mm-hmm. I yeah. do still want to play it, uh, but um, in less than a week, I'm probably going to be playing Destiny 2, which is why I'm going to wait for this jabroni to uh, finish it yes. and then just borrow it from him. Um, you know, to be perfectly honest with you, Kato, that's probably not what's going to happen. You're gonna I'm probably going to order it digitally, be playing it the day it comes out because uh, I, uh, I I love the hype trains, Kato, and you I do. love getting really on board do. with the hype you trains. You really do. I, I don't know. It's up to you, to be honest, because you have so many other games that you can start playing. Yeah, but like you, I, I'm curious to see how you think of God of War. To be so I finally have a, a 4K uh, HDR uh, TV, and I can make use of that uh, mm-hmm. PS4 Pro, but I have been playing a lot more on uh, PC, which has already been 4K and a lot more powerful than the PS4 Pro, but mm-hmm. can't play Spider-Man on the PC, Kato. Yeah. Not going to be able to play Red Dead Redemption on the PC either, Kato. Why not? Well, maybe eventually, Yeah. like GTA V, mm-hmm. right? I don't see why not. Yeah, because I was going to say you should be able to. So I'm looking forward to those games uh, coming out soon. Um been watching some uh, English Premier League just started, and then the NFL football season is about to start next weekend, Cato. Mm-hmm. So, so I'll, I'll be spending some of my free time. And then, Cato, let me ask you, have you watched any good movies lately? Last weekend, got the new TV hooked up. Cato and I watched Predators in 4K. Oh, God. What did you that think? That movie, and... I did not like that movie. You did after, after the first... Well, we watched like four Predator movies right now. We watched Predator, Predators, and then we watched Alien vs. Predator. I think we watched Alien vs. Predator 2? Or not nope. yet? Not yet? We haven't watched but AVP. Yeah, I just felt like the one with Arnold Arnold in it was good. The one with Mel Gibson felt like it wasn't that great. And then the third one just... I don't know, man. It just, like, just kind of went downhill, to be honest. Well, see, I think the thing is, is for me, who... And I grew up watching 80s yeah. action movies. It's a cool 80s style action mm-hmm. movie. I can see that. I liked it. It wasn't the best thing since sliced bread, but it was still a good yeah. movie. And then I am looking forward to watching The Predator on later this month, yeah. Kato. We, we you going to see that with me? What's the, what's the timeline on that thing, though? Um, I do not know. I'm just curious about that. Because I, I think, are all these Predators movies supposed to be in the same timeline? or? Because technically... What there? What I saw was that the AVP movies aren't canon, okay. and it's sort of like its own universe. Mm-hmm. I don't know where this Predator movie exists. It's very, very weird. Wait. They just make movies, and they don't care where it sticks in the timeline, basically. So I don't know what universe this resides in. Yeah. So it'll be interesting. I'm um, sure somebody in the comments will let us know, anyways. But I want—I really want to see that uh, Predator movie. Mm-hmm. Shane and then, Black. Um, yeah, Shane Black. He gets a lot of hate, though. A couple of movies I'm looking forward to watching, uh, 4K, is John Wick 1 and 2. Yep, you just got that last week. Got that last week. Haven't watched them yet. I've seen them before, but I haven't watched them yet in the uh, the deepest blacks of the OLED, Kato. Mm-hmm. Yep. That should be good movies to turn out the lights to yep. and watch. So, Did you watch Infinity War yet with the fan? I have not. I have uh, both Infinity War and... Deadpool 2, yeah. um, 4K versions that I have not watched yet. It's because we don't have a couch mm-hmm. yet in the loft. Couch is delivered mm-hmm. in like a couple of days. Mm-hmm. So then we'll be able to chill out as a family and, and watch those movies. Saw them in the theater, yeah. but I haven't watched them again at home. So looking forward to doing that. So, yep. All right, Cato, uh, that's it for the all the BS. Yes. 
Now let's uh, start talking about uh, our uh, previews and pre-orders. And first up, Cato, uh, we're going to talk uh, some DC collectibles. Yeah, we do. Some DC collectibles. And so DC collectibles you can now uh, purchase on the Sideshow website, which mm-hmm. is great. These are cheaper um, cheaper priced uh, statues. So really cool that they're on the Sideshow website now. Yeah. I personally love uh, the Batman black and white line. Mm-hmm. Really love it. What's great about this, Cato, is I have like... I don't know, 120 bucks in sideshow rewards. I can use my rewards. Pop one of these statues. Yeah, real exactly. Quick. So these we got like Batwoman, we got Green Lantern, the Flash. We have this really cool Batman that I really like, and then the last one's gonna be this Harley Quinn. Yeah, yeah. So really, uh, smaller scale statues, really uh, reasonably priced. Mm-hmm. And I actually, um, I have several DC collectibles in my collection. Yeah. They make a nice little accent pieces. Yeah, they do. So if you got some uh, sideshow rewards saved up, I would use them on those. Yeah, I'm starting to rack up some sideshow points too. Buying what? Um, I bought my girlfriend the that spaceship from Future 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 Yeah, yeah. Because cool. originally I was able to buy it on the actual website, but then I wanted like five dollars in points. So well, I have a little bit of rewards, maybe like a hundred something bucks, um, and a massive amount pending, Kato. A massive mm-hmm. amount pending. So. It's good. I can get some free stuff. Yes. Which is really cool. So, uh, Kato, uh, next up is... Um, first four figures. First four figures. Yep. And we're going to talk about Kirby first? Yeah, let's talk about some Kirby. So, first up, we have Kirby Exclusive and Kirby Regular Edition. So, the Kirby that's exclusive just comes up. The base, the star, just lights up. Mm-hmm. The regular one does not. From what I'm aware of, nothing else changes besides that, besides the light-up feature, kind of like the Sonic one that we had yeah. in the past. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, this one, Kirby, is priced at $349.99. Pretty much it. Same price for the regular as well. When is that release date, Kato? Release date. Ooh, I actually did not check the release date. So Kirby is from an old-school NES video game? Yeah. Does it, go, more of, does it I, go that far back? I personally never played it before, so I wouldn't know. Estimate release date is quarter three of 2019. So that's actually... Oh, no, that's actually next year. I kept thinking it's this year. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, Kato. We are now ordering statues for uh, 2019. And in some cases that we're going to see... Some 2020. Even some 2020. This is a crazy um, crazy hobby that we're in, Kato. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. But I do have to say, for the video game collectors... Especially old school video co- co- game collectors, first four figures, top notch. Oh yeah, definitely. Right, people are starting to get that uh, anniversary edition Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh yeah. Which um, yeah, which you originally pre-ordered, but you wanted the light up base. Well, I wait listed. Yeah. I wait listed, and then or I, actually, I think I ordered the regular. It's like no, if I can't get the exclusive, I don't want it. But yeah. honestly, video game statues like that, bright, colorful. Mm-hmm. Doesn't fit in your Would not collection. fit my collection yeah, uh, personally at all. But mm-hmm. I've seen a lot of people who just have video game statue collections. And it looks great. It's it pretty looks, awesome. Yeah, old school really Sonic, great. old school Cooler Kirby. Mm-hmm. They do some great uh, Super Mario statues yeah, as well. Okay. They do. So they also have um, a, another video game statue. Yep. One um, more my style. Yep, Metal Gear. Solid. Metal Gear Solid, yep. this is the... Psycho um, Mantis. Psycho Mantis, right? So mm-hmm. what is... Uh, we actually have three different versions of Psycho Mantis. Yes. Is that right, Kato? Yes, that is. We have the exclusive, which comes with an alternate head, and then the regular, which is just the regular head, and then the optic camouflage edition, which he's like white or like supposed to be invisible kind of clear. Thing. Yeah, clear. Like the snake was. Yeah, but the snake was like green. This one, this camouflage looking one is looks kind of I don't know how to explain it but it looks it doesn't look clear but it's kind of like more like a white translucent kind of look so they're all priced at five twenty four ninety nine. dollars we mm-hmm. got a release date on these Kato release date on these are gonna be probably quarter 13 of 2019 as well and they then they do have a, a, a three pack as well right? oh yeah mm-hmm. so it's, that three pack no is, I think it's a dual pack oh dual yeah, pack so pack. you get the exclusive you wouldn't need the regular edition. Yeah. So you get the exclusive edition and you get the camouflage uh, version for yes. nine forty nine ninety nine. Mm-hmm. So, so I think you save like a hundred bucks if you if you buy both together. 
Yeah, I think yeah. you do save, uh, yeah, about 100 bucks. Yeah. So, uh, Metal Gear Solid, obviously, um, great classic oh, yeah. video game. Uh, I remember playing this uh, PlayStation 2, and I play, I beat this game in two days. Really? I sat and played it in our living room, had a bunch of roommates, and people just sat and watched me play the whole game. Yeah, too. right. So that's what I kind of like miss back in the day, where like retro kind of gaming, where people just sat there and just watch. You know what I mean? And then that classic moment where um, Psycho Mantis reads your memory card yeah. and tells you what else you've been playing. Oh, I see you've been playing Final Fantasy VII. And you're like, what? What are yeah, you talking about? Exactly. And you tells you to put your controller on the ground and rumbles the dual shock, yeah. right? And you're just like, whoa, this that was is crazy. The back most then. awesome. Yeah. So I played it, actually recently played, not recently, but um, just before Metal Gear Solid 5 came out, I mm-hmm. played through um, the collection. You played all of them? Mm-hmm. All over it? Not two. Oh, okay. I played Metal Gear Solid, I played Snake Eater, I played Peace Walker. So you're saying you just beat all of them before that game came out? Yeah. Wow. Well, I didn't play, I didn't That's play uh, Metal Gear Solid 4, because mm-hmm. that game actually takes place in the timeline after Metal Gear Solid 5. Mm-hmm. Right, so I didn't play four because uh, it didn't fit. I was playing them. Um, so I played them in chronological order. Okay. That makes sense. By timeline, right? By timeline, yeah. not by a release, release date. date. So, um, and then um, Metal Gear Solid Five, which is an awesome game too. Mm-hmm. So, this is a um, classic villain. Yeah, classic uh, video game villain. All right, Kato, so next up we are going to um, talk about a company that we don't talk about too often. Yeah, they don't really release statues very much, but the ones that they do, it's actually pretty cool. Yeah. So this is uh, Figurama Collectors, and what is this? Tokyo Ghoul. I've never, I've heard about this anime a lot, but I haven't actually watched it. I heard, uh, what's, what's kind of cool about this is that they actually have this one has like two different alternate heads or something like that mm-hmm. and they, they literally about i think a week ago they just announced that they just added a third head because a, a lot of fans really wanted it now this sold out oh yeah yeah definitely this one has been sold out i think they made 600 to 800 pieces and they sold out so how much what was the price of this price one was 725 dollars with the non-refundable deposit of 145 and usually the shipping is about forty-five dollars. Okay, I think, so I like think um, or off. Oh yeah, if you pay your Mastercard or something, you will receive forty-five dollars off your shipping invoice. I think you can, you can join a wait list for this still. Mm-hmm. So if there are any uh, Tokyo Ghoul fans out there, yeah. I know they do um, really great anime statues, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, yeah, it's pretty awesome. So next up, we just have a um, we're gonna have a little. Preview, yeah, just a small preview from uh, Handmade Objects or HMO Collectibles yep. announced that they are going to show off the um, war their first Warhammer 40k 1/6 scale diorama yes. at STGCC mm-hmm. uh, 2018. So when is that? I believe it's uh we're shooting this on Saturday, September 1st. Mm-hmm. I believe it's next weekend, you yeah? know, the okay. 7th and cool. 8th. So the time I beat Spider-Man. Yeah, by the. Are you sure? Because Spider Man comes out on Friday. Friday. Yeah, I'll probably beat it by <laughs> by Saturday night. Okay, we'll yeah. see. We'll see. We'll see. So they're going to be showing off this uh, at STGCC, fully painted, yeah. fully assembled, um, and I am, and then pre order shortly after that, Kato. Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah. That's right. Okay. So I am uh, super looking forward yeah. to this. I have not been pre ordering statues, waiting for this. Because this has to go in the budget, yeah. Kato. Mm-hmm. This absolutely has to go in the budget. I don't know where to put it. Where it's going to go? Yeah. Because it's going to be huge. Mm-hmm. But you know, I've said many times, a Warhammer 40k can completely change my collection. Yes. I will make the room for this statue. Mm-hmm. And I've been holding off on doing some other pre-orders because I want to make sure this guy's uh, in the budget. So yeah. uh, looking forward to seeing that uh, at STGC um, next weekend. Yeah, that'll be awesome. Yeah, it will be awesome. Mm-hmm. I am completely stoked and excited yeah. for that. Completely stoked. Lord Gilliman, Rebute, Papa Smurf, fighting a Chaos Space Marine. I'll be surprised if it's painted up by then, though. 
it, they've said it's they, going to be they, painted. Oh, they said it's going to be yeah. painted. No, no, okay. They've been previewing this for a while. Kind right. of. He's going to be painted up. So um, probably going to be a big. Probably going to be. Uh, I would say. Probably the size of a one third, right? No, it's probably going to be quarter scale size because yeah. Space Marines are huge. Mm -hmm. um, wow, that's going to be big. That's going to be big, so it's going to be expensive too. Damn. Okay, whatever, we'll see. Like I said, <laughs> I've been saving room for my budget. Mm -hmm. So next up, Kato. We have uh, Iron Studios. Ooh, Kato, you're going to have to answer a tough question on this oh, one. Yeah. So let's take a look. Iron Spidey. Mm -hmm. Let's hit him first, Kato. Tell us... Uh, Tell us the details about this statue. Details about the statue? You're putting me on the spot. Let's see. Price is going to be $799.99. This one, again, is by Iron Studios, based off the movie Avengers Infinity War. Mm -hmm. Estimated arrival is 2019 to June 2019. Not bad. Not bad of a piece. Um, exclusive. Let's see. The edition size. Their edition size. I don't think Prime, I mean, Iron Studios does this edition size. Uh, scroll up, Kato. Scroll up. Cause usually it should be right here, right? Yeah, I don't see yeah. an edition size see. listed here. Mm -hmm. This is their quarter scale um, legacy replica. So, Kato, the tough question everybody wants to know is, are you going to order this Iron Spidey? You've been waiting for an Iron yeah, Spidey I for a long time. For a really long time, because remember the la the one that Sideshow released like before we both started collecting at all was a phenomenal piece and I was really jealous that I never got it because now it's like s super overpriced. This one looks pretty good. I'm actually pretty close to pulling the trigger on this one. The only s only thing that I can pick out is his suit is a little too glossy because like it kind of there's a little bit of a glitter on it. Then again it's a prototype so I'm not exactly sure. For me I don't jump on the pre-order train anyway so the more closer I get it comes to April of next year, that's when most likely I will start buying it. So I don't understand what you want. Spider, on one hand, Spider-Man the game, not glossy enough. On the next hand, Spider-Man the statue, too glossy. You want glossy Spider-Man, you don't want glossy Spider-Man. What do you mean? I don't know. It just you depends. Know because you know that like, throughout throughout a year, there's going to be so many different statues that pop up, you know, and you, you got to kind of have to choose what's going on. Like for me, probably within the next week, I'm going to order that, that Flash, the... Mm -hmm the Prime 1 Studios Flash because that looks great and it's going to release in October so that's why like you know because you never know everybody has been waiting for Sideshow to make their own Flash you know what yeah. I mean so they haven't done that yet so now with Iron Studios they made an amazing Iron Spider-Man and it looks great I'm yeah, so Kato is um, does not board the hype trains yeah. generally I don't really care about the addition size too that's the huge thing and then so he will wait right Yeah. to see how he might wait until a statue is released to get one, or he might wait until they're in hand pictures to order it, um, or he might wait for there to be an edition size, or yeah. um, he usually waits to see how things turns out, which means he doesn't l lose a bunch of Energies, deposits yeah, exactly. like uh, like I do over here. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. all right. So, uh, what's next up from Iron Studios? Next Studios? up, we got Lobo. This one is super. Ex I'm like, super excited to see more pictures of him because this guy. I remember a couple episode ago he's probably one of the highlights he looks really great i don't know much about lobo i just know he's from dc you have a lobo statue behind you as well can you talk talk a little bit about what's going on with this base because it's just all over the place well he's riding his space motorcycle okay i know a little bit about lobo as a character but i've read some of his books um but i'm not a huge um i'm not a huge lobo fan so uh, this uh, diorama is um, one six scale. Mm -hmm. Price is nine hundred ninety nine dollars and ninety nine cents, and the uh, release date Cato is October through December of two thousand and nineteen. Yeah, I really do like the look of this statue. It's got the space motorcycle. Mm -hmm. It's got dog in there. Lots of stuff going on with the base. That's yeah. why it's busy. That's why it's priced the way it's priced. Yeah. Everybody's. Um, I think everybody's going crazy over the price because I think he has an alternate head too. I think I'm. I'm not exactly sure, but yeah, he has two he heads. Has a, he has a lot of different much stuff. like the uh, the Lobo that you can see up here. Mm -hmm. um, Lobo makes a great statue, Kato. Yeah, makes a really good statue. Lots of crazy details in mm -hmm. this piece. Um, I think the price tag. 
It's a little too much, I feel like, especially for a 1-6. Well, but then that's kind of Iron Studio, so they're usually their 1-6 are usually like 2 I mean, or something. It's hard because what's a comparative piece to this? Let's When's see. the last time we had someone on a motorcycle? Maybe Judge Dredd, PCS? Yeah. And this is more expensive than that. Mm-hmm. Judge Dredd, PCS, though, so was quarter scale. But this one does have a ton of detail in yeah. it. And I think that ton of detail justifies the increased price. Yeah. I really I think do. so, too. And then next up, we have the big bad villain himself from Infinity War. Mm-hmm. Thanos. Thanos, the Mad Titan, in his full movie version. Yes. Uh, price, the same price as Lobo, Kato, mm-hmm. $999.99. Yep. This one's coming out quite a bit sooner than that, yep. though, June through, or April through June of 2019. Yep. Same on Spider-Man, so that'd be kind of cool. A couple of different head sculpts on there, Kato. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm just curious, for me, when I was watching through the movie, I was curious. Ooh, big guy. His, um, his scars or his skin or something like that. It looks like he got cut by, like, Wolverine or something. I don't know if that's... Just the character design, or this is him, Wakanda in battle. It looks like, mm-hmm. yeah, with that base. I think so. Yeah. yeah, yeah, because that's when he gets the gloves. Was this when he's in Wakanda? So. Yeah. So, um, I personally don't do movie statues, mm-hmm. uh, Kato, um, with the uh, some uh, some exceptions, but generally for comic book pieces, I yeah. don't do movie statues. Mm-hmm. Um, but Iron Studios making some quarter scale uh, Infinity War statues. All three of these statues uh, you can order uh, at the Sideshow website, which means use your rewards um, and earn rewards as well, Kato. Mm -hmm. All right. Enough Iron Studios, Kato. What's next? Next up, we got uh, Kinetic Hits. So this one I thought you might be excited for because it is the Battle of the Brothers, I think, is what what it's called. Battle of the Brothers, Charlie Nash versus Guile. Mm Mm-hmm. Uh, this is a 1-6 scale diorama. Yes. Correct, Kato? Yes, from what I'm aware of. I don't think it says it down here somewhere. I'm pretty sure it is, though. Yeah, it doesn't really say it. Yeah, that's small. Yeah. So they got two statues here. You buy mm-hmm. them separately, you put them together. Yes. So for Guile, he's $429. Mm-hmm. And for Nash, he's a little bit more expensive. He is $449. Ooh. I wonder why. I think his base is busy, busier, maybe? Maybe because of his kick. Oh. What? He's got a little extra Yeah, but kick. he's doing that... Uh, I don't know. You know? I don't know, Kato. Yeah. Uh, both seems to be coming out... Did you already say the, dish, the arrival time? Uh, June through August of 2019. Yeah. Both of them same time. Too. Yep. So you can get one of them, or you can get both of them. Yeah. It's your choice. They both look great together, to be honest, though. Both look great, and Connecticut's now available at Sideshow, Kato. Mm-hmm. Again, yes. rewards, 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 right? Yes. All right, Kato, so uh, now a company I do not know a lot about. I don't Haven't know. Haven't we covered some different Batman statues from them? No, that's Mitsuo or something like that. Or oh, okay. y- y- no, Yamaga- y- Yamagami. 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 Something like that. Yeah. So this company is Mame Re, 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 Ma, Re Come on, Kato. Mame Roy Ray or more? I don't even know to be honest. People, Mame people will, just, will see it. Mame Gyorai is how I'm gonna say it. Yeah. So they got a one third scale alien big chap. One third scale alien is gonna be big, Kato. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And with a big statue comes a big price of oh, yeah. two thousand. Ninety-nine dollars and ninety-nine cents. Mm-hmm. This guy's gonna arrive uh, March twenty nineteen to May twenty nineteen. How big is this guy, Kato? How this tall dude is, is this? This is huge. And the alien is uh, slunched. Does oh. he even? Oh, there it does tell us. So twenty-eight inches tall. That's not very tall. How tall is that? It's not very tall. That's uh, shorter than one-third scale Prime One oh, Batman. Okay. Interesting. So obviously the the um, big chap is hunched over. Mm-hmm. True. Um, Feedback if I heard is a lot of people don't really like this pose. It's kind of weird. I don't. I don't remember. Is it like? What's the pose? What's what is it? I don't know. Is he like rising up? I, I don't know. Just it. I I agree. The pose is kind of awkward to be honest. It is a little odd. It is a little bit different. But mm-hmm. kudos to them for trying something yeah. different. So, 
Uh, this guy is also available to order uh, at Sideshow as well, yes. Kato. All right, so Kato, it's time to talk some Prime One Studio. Yes. Is that what we we're doing now? I don't know. That'd be, that's kind of cool, right? Prime One Studio. No? I like it. You think you're so cool because you're wearing sunglasses in a I dark room. I have no choice. In a it's, dark room I have today. to wear it for the next week. I need my sunglasses yeah. too. You should have. We should have copied me. We could have been like the Blues Brothers. Is that what it is? Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. See, we could have been that. Or we could have been like a Green Hornet and Kato. That's true. That's true. That's true. Okay. All right, so first up from Prime One Series, we got Black Manta. This guy I'm super excited for because I'm not really super excited for the movie, the Aquaman movie, but I'm, I'm, I am kind of curious to see how it's going to come out. But oh. this guy, Injustice 2, you liked the game, I didn't, I felt like the story was lame. But anyways, tell me about Black Manta. This is DC, this is all you right here. No? DC is not all me. DC is supposed to be all you. You gotta understand, you're all about You're all My about Batman. My order is Batman, Marvel, and DC. Other than Batman, I read. I have read very little DC. Well, what I, I know, certainly know Aquaman. What I know about Black Manta is he's a villain for Aquaman. Yeah. He does have a son named Aqualad because I watched Young Justice. Other than that, I don't know much about him. All you need to know. Yeah, he's Aquaman's villain. He looks this pretty is cool. From Injustice Two mm-hmm. video game statue Com- comes with an exclusive head as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, which is pretty dope. A limited edition of five hundred. Yes, which is kind of cool. Priced Usually at seven hundred ninety nine dollars. Mm-hmm. And surprisingly, arrival time is January twenty twenty to March twenty twenty. Twenty twenty, Kato. These Prime One pieces are killing me. Yep. They are killing me. Mm-hmm. So I don't have any Injustice statues, and I'm not a huge Aquaman fan. But yep. a lot of people collecting this line. So mm-hmm. uh, next up. Some, one that I thought you might be kind of excited for because you kind of need a, I need a new gal in your collection is uh, Huntress. Huntress. This is, she's from the Hush Line too if I remember. She which is, you've already got two of them. She is from the Hush Line. Mm-hmm. This is the Sculpted Cape Edition. Edition size of 750 Priced at... Come on, Kato. <laughs> priced at $1,099. Estimated arrival... Same time as January <laughs> through March of 2020. My gosh. Oh, yeah. Might not even be alive by the time these Prime 1 statues come out, Kato. Yep. you got to admit, she looks great. She looks phenomenal. Oh, no doubt, Kato. No doubt. Phenomenal. And what's so great about this? Oh, wow. Anyways, so what, what's kind of cool is that this is actually a sculpt cape edition, just like how Superman, there's fabric and sculpted. There's also going to be in, down, down the road, it's going to be a fabric cape. Huntress as well. I personally would go with the fabric cape. I, I personally like. would too, yeah, because... Even though Batman doesn't come with a fabric cape. Yeah, it's kind of weird, right? I don't know why they haven't done that. Yeah. Um, she's not on my list, Kato, and mm-hmm. I'm honestly, seriously thinking about canceling... The Hush Line? Yes. 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 I'll tell you why, Kato. Tell I'll me tell why. You why. Tell me why right now. These things mm-hmm. are... Huge yeah. and big, and I boxed up a uh, one third Akuma the other day. I'm like, man, this guy's big, and he doesn't even have a big base. Look at those guys, Kato. True. She How has many a really busy base? One thirds can I legitimately fit in the collection? I don't know where they're gonna go. Yeah. I don't think I'm gonna cancel those two, honestly. Um, but I'm definitely have to be picky when adding to that line. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, has canceling them kicked around in my head? Yes, but I think it will be awesome. I want to see them in person. Yep. I think regardless. Mm-hmm. And um, but Huntress isn't a character I really um, uh, like. Yep. I mean, I didn't order the quarter scale version, um, so no need to order the third scale version yep. either. But uh, she is. She does look amazing, though. Mm-hmm. Amazing. Next up, we have. The new 52 Batman! From yep. what I'm of, you have the first edition of this guy. No? What? Don't you have the no- first edition of something? Of a Batman or something like that? What are you talking no, about? No, okay, never mind. Never mind. What Anyways. are you talking about? Oh, you're talking about my comic. Yeah. Yeah, new. I have That's New 52 Batman number one, yeah. CGC 9.8. Yeah. It's not worth that much money. I know, but it's cool because it's this guy. So. 
I think this could be one of the best Batman statues ever made. Yes, I'm, I'm probably really tempted to get it because I know you're not going to get it. Don't be so sure, Kato. Don't be so sure. Because guess what? This is quarter scale version. Yes, it is. Limited edition of six hundred. Mm-hmm. Priced at seven hundred ninety nine dollars. Yep. And release date of January through March of twenty twenty. <laughs> but for this one, that would actually work out. Yeah. Because the size. I have room in my budget. Mm-hmm. End of twenty nineteen. And then now this one's to the next year. Yeah. So, but honestly, I've held off on it. And you saw why I've held off on it earlier with the, the HMO diorama that yep. I'm waiting for. Mm-hmm. I'm holding off on a couple uh, pre-orders yep. while I wait for that. And this is one of those. But I think, Kato, this could be one of the best Batman statues yeah. ever made. I'm honestly looking forward to this one. If you don't get this, I'm about like 99% sure I'd get it. Because it looks great. And I, my girlfriend says that I have too much Spider-Man stuff in the room, so I kind of have to switch it up a little bit. Batman would be great. Yeah, so, so I mean, I have this penciled into my budget spreadsheet mm-hmm. it's penciled in there but it's not um finalized yet. color coded yet which means i haven't pulled the trigger on okay. it yet. so it does have a exclusive portrait for sideshow yeah so. it has and a left hand holding quip interesting that's pretty cool enough. next up we have what we've watched a couple weeks ago the predator fugitive predator fugitive predator so, so this guy is from the predator so the new one or yeah okay he is from the new one okay so, kind of cool. He does come with an exclusive head. An exclusive head, Cato. This is a bust. Bust, yeah, sorry. Exclusive he could, ha- arm. Like, he comes with an extra I mask. Yeah, a just, battle-damaged mask. That's what the, I mean. um, the, There's two different versions of this. There's a regular version, and then there's a deluxe version. Yes. The deluxe version comes with a battle-scarred mask. Which is dope, to be honest. The uh, other one comes with still comes with a mask, but not battle-scarred, mm-hmm. so... Kato, can I make it a confession to you today? No way, well, you didn't buy this. No, I did not. But it's also penciled in. Oh my god! In my budget, see, waiting for you. See, this is what happens when you watch the goddamn movie. Yeah, board the hype train. Choo, 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 choo. So it's just something I'm thinking about. Yeah. I do not have to make that decision That's right true. now. You don't. So the deluxe version is one thousand eight hundred ninety nine dollars. Mm-hmm. Limited edition of five hundred. Yes. January through March of 2020. Mm-hmm. The uh, regular version is $1,599. That's the version I would think about. Really? I really like that scar on the face. I don't need two masks. Yeah? So okay. Don't need, and it's you already, room for it too, it's already sure. super expensive. Yeah. I do not have room for it. Yeah. Right now, I'm on the Predator hype train. You really are. I'm waiting to see if that's going to cool off. Okay. And I'm waiting... For 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 Rebute. Are we watching um, Predator weekend it comes out? I don't even know what weekend it comes out. It's no, it comes out this month. The, the next episode, that's when it comes out. Cool. All right. I, I definitely want to see that. Definitely right. want to see that. So Next up, well, that's pretty much it for actually Prime One Studios. Yeah, that Nothing is it else. from Prime One Studios. Mm-hmm. A couple of the things in there, I'm thinking about pre-ordering, um, just holding off. Because I can't... I lose a lot of money you in do non-refundable lose a, yeah, deposits. Yeah, I know you do. And I know I disappoint some viewers when I cancel things, too, because yes. they're like, oh, I thought you were going to review that. I was looking forward to seeing that. And, and, and you know, I, it I cancel it, and I don't do it. Uh, so in, in the interest of consistency and um, not losing NRDs, yes. the amount of money I've lost in NRDs, I'm going to have a couple more statues. Yes, Kato, you can. I know, cool. for sure. But anyways, next up, we got a Pop Culture Shop. Somebody that we've talked quite a bit about. They restructured their stuff. Now, most of their orders are being done on Sideshow now, if I'm, if I'm aware of something like that. Their pop culture shock is completely on Sideshow. Yeah. All past orders are on Sideshow. Mm-hmm. All new orders are on Sideshow. Yeah. Which is good. I think that's pretty good. you don't good. have to deal with that junky PCS customer service anymore. I think Sideshow has one of the best customer service, too, to be honest. Yeah, they always answer my emails. Mm-hmm. They always take care of me. So we got their first statue in the uh, WWE line, Kato. Mm-hmm. This is uh, one of my favorite wrestlers growing up, the Ultimate Warrior. Yes. 
Limited Talk edition me, is uh, to be determined. This is a quarter scale Ultimate Warrior. Looks like he's got some mixed media in his tassels. Uh, priced at uh, uh, $550. Hey, pretty freaking reasonable, right? Mm -hmm. Estimated arrival uh, November 2019 through January 2020. I am super tempted to order this, Kato. Super tempted. I feel like he would look a little weird in your collection. He does not fit in the collection. Yeah. He'd have to go somewhere else. Yep. Um, you know, I'm I'm an on and off wrestling fan. Mm -hmm. Watch it occasionally. Um, you know, it's kind of like a wave. I watch it a lot, and then I don't watch it at all. I watch it a lot, don't yeah. watch it at all. I subscribe to WWE Network mostly so I can watch old WWE like Ultimate Warrior. Yeah. Hulk Hogan, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, this is uh, tempting for me. What's keeping me from ordering it is my frustration with pop culture. Shock. Yeah. My frustration you still have Akuma with. with them, though, right? Hey, I still have Ultimate Akuma on mm -hmm. pre-order. So had so have you seen it on the your sideshow now? Or? It is on the sideshow website. It is delayed like a year. Well, that's what we thought when we first, when it first when that was announced. But I'm tired of that, Kato. Yeah. I mean, statues get delayed. A lot of statue companies have delayed stuff. Mm -hmm. um, this is getting a little ridiculous with them. Um, the great thing is, if I did order this, I know Sideshow has the money, mm -hmm. and if I want a refund, I know I'm gonna have it. Right? Exactly. There's no thirty percent discounts for paying in full, and they have all your money for five years before they deliver a statue. Exactly. All that kind of stuff. So. You get the good Sideshow customer service. You can do the payment plans. You can get your refunds within a couple of days. The more I look at this, Kato, the more I want it. Because mm -hmm. Warrior fan, rest in peace, Warrior. Rest we got to stop peace. looking at it now. Yeah, stop looking at it, please. That's it. So that's three statues already that's penciled in, mm -hmm. all waiting on see about that HMO first. Yeah, right? right. So after that, since Pop Culture Shock is over, since we were talking a little bit about Sideshow, now we're going into Sideshow to see what they've got going on for us. First up, big, big guy that we're going to be talking about is going to be Sideshow's Doomsday. Sideshow's Doomsday. And you know who he was going to be expensive, Kato? Mm -hmm. We said he was going to be expensive. We knew he was going to be expensive. He's Thanos priced expensive. Mm -hmm. That's why they're calling this the Doomsday Maquette. Yes. Right? And How much think, was Thanos anyways? 1200 Yeah? Yeah. So, so he's, he's a little bit more expensive? Maybe a little bit more. Wow. Okay. I don't remember the exact uh, price of Thanos, mm -hmm. but... Uh, no edition size on this. Yes, which I'm not surprised. I'm actually kind of surprised that they don't have like an exclusive version of him, or unless they do. I don't know. If they do. Seen. They do. Okay. The collector's edition is twenty bucks, fifteen bucks cheaper, Kato. Okay. So the exclusive has a swap out hooded portrait. Okay. Okay. So, one thousand two hundred and fifty uh, May through July of two thousand nineteen. That's a reasonable release date, Kato. Yep. Next year. None of this twenty twenty BS. None of this twenty twenty BS. So. Yes. To be fair, um, the pieces from Prime One I I want to order. Mm -hmm. I'm glad they're in 2020. So then, did you know room. that the cape is going to be fabric? Is it? Yeah. Cool. So that's considered mixed media, right? Yep. Yeah. I love a touch of mixed media. Ooh, one is that Wonder Woman sword? Nice. Yeah. Oh, Batman! He. Oh no no no! You're gonna get it now, huh? No. <laughs> no. I think it looks awesome. It does. But again, I don't I don't have. Uh, DC line. Mm -hmm. I have a uh, Batman line. True, yeah. right? Because I don't. Yeah, this exclusive portrait. It's no offense. It's kind of ugly to me. I just like the original one better. Yeah, yeah. 
Next up, we got something that I don't know if anybody excited for. Um, I'm sure there are. Yeah. Keep in mind, Kato, keep in mind, the Elite Collector only makes up about 3% of Sideshow sales. True. Okay. More, majority of the rest of their sales go to everybody else who does not care that they already released a green version, they're going to release a red version, etc., etc. Yeah. So, if you like Hulk, I mean, it's a little goofy for me, uh, but... I'm just speechless when I see him, to be honest. Just that grin. Yeah. A little too much. I just might as well throw a hoagie or what is it called in? Like... Stogie. Yeah, stogie, so yeah. Same thing with Wolverine. Yeah, exactly. It's like, I feel like all of their new busts are just stogie style or something. Stogie style. <laughs> I do like that um, Sideshow is doing more busts again. Yeah. I've heard um, that they're going to be doing some DC busts again. Would you get a Batman bust? If they did another Batman bust, I would do it. Yeah? Yeah. Ooh. Because I regret not having... Their previous Batman and Joker busts. Oh yeah, those are great. Because maybe they wouldn't would go in great. here if they would have been can go yeah. in that entryway, mm-hmm. right? Exactly. I know exactly what you're talking. Yeah, that'd be perfect. So, yeah. um, cool. So, Gray Hulk edition size really small, 150. Yep. 999 dollars. Uh, ships within uh, one week. Cato, this isn't a pre-order. Oh wow! You can just buy it now. Yeah, I think they just. Re- just, buy they just it now. I think they just announced it recently, though. I thought. It's on the what's new. Yeah, maybe because they already had them going, right? Yeah. The Green Hulk has just been released, so yep. they just paint them gray and they're mm-hmm. good to go, right? All right, so that's it with Sideshow. Yeah, Luckily. that's it this uh, week uh, for Sideshow. Did have some previews um, on there, right, Kato? Darth mm-hmm. Vader. Yeah, Darth Vader, yeah. That's pretty much it. But we'll definitely cover that when the pre-order comes for it. Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So then next up, we have uh, Weedle Workshops. What we mainly know them for is Go- Gollum, the dude from Lord of the Rings. Gollum. Yeah. Gollum. Yeah. The Precious dude. Yeah. Lord of the Rings, you mean? Mm-hmm. And The Hobbit? Yeah, exactly. Middle Earth? Yes. Yes. Yeah. So we have, they are working on Shadow of the Tomb Raider, which is the new, uh, is it PlayStation exclusive? No, it's not. PlayStation exclusive? I don't think so. No, I think it's just... No, I think Tomb Raider's more in line with uh, Xbox. Is it? More aligned with Xbox. Okay, yeah. So yeah, this is Shadow of the Tomb Raider. I've, I did see a little bit of the trailer when it came out on E3 or something like that. Aren't the, the Tomb Raider games are exclusive to Windows and Xbox. Is it? The new ones? I don't know. You can't play them on PlayStation. I don't know. Yeah. I own them on <laughs> Do PC. You? They were on sale on PC. Oh, I okay. own them. I uh, haven't played them. Yeah, interesting. But I hear, I hear they're really good. Mm-hmm. Really good. Yeah, so. I've heard really good things about it, too. Because remember, I kept asking you about it way, way in the past. I was like, have you ever played the Tomb Raider games? You're like, I don't like playing uh, female characters. I was like, oh, okay. But then yeah. for some odd reason, when you play Mass Effect, your shepherd was a female character once. You said no? No. You never did that? No. Oh, okay. Never mind. I'm tripping. Just, just for me, I like to immerse myself in the game. Mm-hmm. And it's hard for me to... Certain games, it's hard for me to immerse myself. I play plenty of Tomb Raider, Kato, uh, but generally, if you give me the option of a male and female character, I always play the male, so kind of gives me that RPG element, yeah. allows me to pretend to be a badass, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. That's all. That makes sense. That's yeah. all. That's. Well, uh, anyways, this Laura Croft statue, quarter scale, is great. Limited edition, 750. From what I'm aware of, it's really low as of right now, so those who are a fan of it should get it as soon as possible. We get a release date on here, Kato? Release date... I don't think so. Maybe they don't put one on there? Yeah, they usually don't. Yeah, or... Yep. March, oh, 2019. March 2019, Kato, come on, Next man. year. That's awesome. So, uh, actually, uh, so for the Weta Workshop, you can get this at their website. Yes. They don't go through sites. So they sell uh, direct, I think. You can get them at other toy stores. Yeah, Big Back Toy Stores or something, maybe. Yeah, maybe something like that. But definitely you can get it at the Weta uh, website. Um so uh, check that out in the um, the uh, comments or description below. Yep. Last up, Joe, since we are done with Weta workshops, we have XM Studio. Last but not least, a company we haven't been talking about yes. recently, but they're gearing up for STGCC as well, yep. Kato. Mm-hmm. They always have a big display there. So we got one single one. preview, one, single one preview. badass single preview. Colossus. Colossus. Ooh. Looks good. Looks I personally good. Looks did good. like him in Deadpool. He's just kind of a cool character. 
to be honest. You do or you don't? I like him in Deadpool. I like him. His animation needs to be a touch better, though. Yeah. He's a little stiff, right? Mm-hmm. He's a little stiff. Yeah. Uh, I would love to have a Colossus in my mm-hmm. collection. That'd be awesome. Um, a lot of people collecting this X-Men line from... Uh, X-Men line from XM Studios, Mm -hmm. right? Yes. Unfortunately, these are not a worldwide license. Yeah. You can only get them in certain countries Mm -hmm. in Asia, or you have to know a guy. Yeah. Or you just go to Facebook and you can buy them, or you go to eBay and you can buy them. There's lots of ways to get XM Studios uh, pieces. Uh, You just can't buy them direct. You have to buy them from someone who bought them direct. Exactly. So looking forward to seeing uh, more... Colossus, looking forward to seeing more of what XM Studios is doing mm-hmm. next weekend at STGCC. Yes. So, Kato, that is it for this week's uh, previews and pre orders. Yeah, that's it. That's pretty much it. So, of everything we saw here today, Kato, mm-hmm. what is the one standout piece for you? Ooh, I have two, though. I can only choose one, or can I choose two? It's free country, Kato. Do what you like. Personally, Iron Iron Spider Man because that's most likely gonna be on. Most likely gonna buy. I probably won't pre order it, but I'll probably pre order it when it comes to like March or something. And literally, if you're not gonna get it, the new Fifty Two Batman looks yeah. great. Phenomenal piece, to be honest. Phenomenal piece. See, so you? yeah, a couple pieces tempting me. New yeah. Fifty Two Batman, Prime One Predator. Mm-hmm. PCS Ultimate Warrior, but ultimately I'm waiting on that HMO diorama, battle collectibles diorama. 40k uh, diorama. Mm-hmm. Ultimately, uh, what I'm waiting on. So that they only given us teasers so far. Yep. I can't wait to see what they're going to do after that as well. I like that they're not using video game characters. Mm-hmm. I like that um, they're giving us a Primark, which you don't really understand what that means, mm-hmm. but it's pretty. Uh, Pretty big deal. He's even bigger than a space marine. It's crazy. And you get two figures in that. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. Sixteen hundred dollars? Is that what I'm predicting? No, I say I'm I say, getting closer to two grand to be honest. What? What? Yeah, okay. That's what I'm thinking. So that's what I'm really uh, looking forward to. Uh, looking forward to seeing that next weekend at S T G C C C C C Cato. S T G C C. S T G C C. Seem good. What is it? STGC stand for? Something something's Comic Con, obviously. Singapore Toy Game Comic Con, I think. Think so? I think so. I would think so. All right. All right, so Kato, that's it uh, for this week's previews and pre orders. Mm-hmm. Let's uh, talk mm-hmm. a little bit about what's going on with our collections. Yeah, let's, let's have you talk about your collection update while I pull up the comments for you, too. Okay. So, uh, for me, obviously, uh, the last episode of Statue Talk was a collection room tour. Mm -hmm. So, I kind of showed off my collection. Uh, I know that was only two weeks ago, but the uh, room has already changed a little bit. Because I've been um, currently surrounded by boxes, Kato. I've actually sent a couple pieces out. Uh, One-third Akuma is gone. And uh, Ultra Vega, Pop Culture Shock. It's both gone. Mm-hmm. Gotta tell you, I'm slimming down the Street Fighter collection, but when I put those two statues away, I was like, man, these are good ass statues. Especially that Akuma. That has to be one of the best sculpts on a statue ever, minus the hairline. <laughs> they messed that whole statue up yep. with the hairline, but other than that, it's one of the best statues made, Kato. Uh, so I. Uh, so those are. Already on their way to Baton Rouge. And then a um, couple of others are boxed up or being boxed up. Pretty much what I listed off in that room tour. A lot of the gaming heads, Mass Effect statues are out there. And um, I'll be posting everything for sale first on our Facebook page. Mm-hmm. And then if uh, they don't sell quickly on the Facebook page, I will throw them up on uh, eBay. So couple of Mass Effect statues already um, boxed up. So I should be putting those up for uh, sale within the next couple of days. Got a couple of inquiries for those already, Kato. So I know people are waiting for that. So you won't have to be waiting too much longer. I tell you, shipping statues is very um, stressful. It stresses me out. 
stresses me out. Like, I'm going to be worried for the next week, hoping and praying that those two statues that I sent out get there in one piece. Never had anything break so far. Um, and I box my stuff super carefully. But there's always that chance, right? Yep. Always that chance, right? So uh, that's what I've been doing. Um, to be honest, Kato, half of the boxes that we're surrounded by are hot toys. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And those aren't outgoing. Them. Those are incoming. So I've got like seven here. And I have like nine more on their way in the next two weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, just kind of on the Star Wars hype train lately. And so that's what I'm doing with Hot Toys is I am uh, just doing the Star Wars line. And then Kato, I bought a couple Arkham pieces. Arkham yeah. Batman, Arkham Joker. And let She's me, let me explain you. why, right? Because the Prime 1 line, Arkham line, is one-third scale. And it's too big. Mm -hmm. I want more of those characters. But it's too big. I do not have the room. Yes, they are doing a one-fifth scale line. Yeah. But th that doesn't work for me. Yeah, it doesn't. It works for me, to be honest. I'm, I'm looking forward to it, to be honest. Yeah, so Star Wars I'm doing in Hot Toys. They just release so many different characters mm -hmm. so quickly. Um, and they, they just a lot. And, it, and for a collector who's running out of room... For statues, I can put a lot of those in a small amount of space. So that's what I've been doing lately. Mm -hmm. Some may have say I turned over to the dark side. You have, but um, I'm not. Uh, I'm not not collecting statues anymore. I'm just adding to it a little bit. Yeah. So a couple of things um, I added to my uh, collection recently, and these are books. These aren't statues. So we've got. Um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, The Ultimate Collection, Volume 5. I have the first four, vo four volumes, and I needed to, to flesh that out mm -hmm. a little bit, so I did that. I did Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles IDW Collection, Volume 1. Wow, that's great. This is a, I've, um, I haven't read The Ultimate Collection. I have read uh, this. I have a lot of the trade paperbacks, and I actually have... A lot of the uh, single issues so I highly recommend this I really enjoyed uh, reading it look really looking forward to jumping uh, in it again volume 2 is now sold out so I'm kind of waiting on that and it's like uh, I think those large editions are up to volume 7 uh, 7 or 8 now but I really like that uh, I really like that story and then the other uh, book that I got add into the small omnibus collection is I've got the uh, Darth Ooh. Vader omnibus uh, by Marvel. So, oh, for a second I thought the whatever those fire fight. Oh, never mind. Yeah, never mind, Kato. I thought there was. I thought it was signed because those the starships were. It's not signed, but this I've already read. Super good, super good. So I highly recommend this one. The art in it is great. Has a lot of. Uh, the cover art like this, really, 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 really uh, good, Kato. So mm -hmm. highly recommend that Darth Vader. Uh, the Star Wars Omnibus is supposed to be coming out early next year, I think. But I'll add that one, too, as I really did like that uh, Darth Vader story. Um, so other than that, um, got to get some videos out to you guys. I keep saying that. Um, but things are finally starting to, to normalize uh, with the job, with the house. So still got to do Guts review, a Wolverine review, and um, some statues that are going to be coming in. It's the Sideshow Captain America, Sideshow Batwoman. Yep. And I might start doing some videos for those Hot Toys, Kato. Just to add some content, uh, uh, different content to the channel. Um, mm -hmm. I collect it and it's my channel. I'll I do what gonna, I want to. Who's going to watch it? Who's going to watch it? I don't know. I don't know either, but um, I might do that. Um, so, more Star Wars content. Yep. Maybe a John Wick thrown in there. Bro. Bro? Bro. Uh, Kato is not a fan of Hot Toys. Um, says that if I put Hot Toys on the channel, he's going to quit. Yeah. That's his... Uh, I'll retire. That's his ultimatum. So, again, yeah, not... Stopping statues. I'm just. Uh, I want Star Wars stuff. 
and I can't fit Star Wars statues. Soon you're going to start complaining that you don't have enough room for Hot Toys. You already don't have enough room for statues. Yeah, but I can fit so many more of those into Detoffs than I can statues. True? That's true. And these are probably actually going to go upstairs into the loft rather than uh, the statue uh, room down here. So, Kato and I have been kicking around a couple ideas, adding some content, um, adding some more content Mm -hmm. uh, to the show. Um, Consistency. Yeah. First is the goal, and then we'll see about adding some kind of quick hits, Kato. Yeah. Small. Small. Small short stuff. videos, maybe some movie reviews. Hmm. Would you guys be willing to watch movie reviews from us? Probably not from me, maybe from Joe, because he likes almost a lot of movies. I don't. Or maybe uh, I can make Kato watch... Um, the old school movies, yeah. like Old movies that he seen, hasn't seen. I haven't seen like Rambo yet, and I'll tell you guys what I think about Rambo. He probably hasn't seen Rambo, Rocky, Wood Science, yeah, yeah, Ferris exactly. Bueller's Day Off. No, I've seen Ferris Bueller's Day Off, actually. Breakfast Club. I haven't seen Breakfast Club. There's so many movies. The Lost Boys. Like, you did let me borrow that, but I gave it back to you. I remember that. So maybe um, maybe we'll do something like that. Yeah. Kicking some ideas around. You guys have ideas, what you think is good. Um, let us know. Yep. Uh, for my collection update, I actually did have something that's outside, I think. Did you leave it outside? Yeah. Yeah. Can we go back? Oh. So, Kato, what is this from? So, a friend of mine, Matt Rapata. Thanks. For this, I actually don't know what it is yet, so I'm going to open it. He went to San Diego Comic Con, which was about a month ago, I think. I hope it's PG-13 rated, Kato. I'm pretty sure it is. It's it's probably something Spider-Man related. This is from San Diego Comic Con? Yes. It is. You didn't come prepared with a pocket knife or nothing? Nope. Just kind of put on the spot. You put yourself on the spot, bro. Well, it's because I wanted to unbox this like a long time ago, but it's kind of we don't... I, didn't, I don't think I brought it. That's yeah, Mercado was too busy hanging out in Las Vegas. Yes. Good stuff. Oh. Sp- the Amazing Spider-Man variant edition. Kind of cool. Ooh, it even says my name on it, too. Art print? Yeah. I don't know I don't know the artist, though. It's kind of cool. I don't know, but it, it's kind of jacked. Yeah. We're in the corners. It's okay. I'll put a... So I'm gonna frame it up anyways, so it's not too bad. I like it; it's kind of cool. Oh. I'd love art prints. I have Ooh, a lot of art prints. Too. Something else, Kato? Yeah. Okay. Oh, we actually. Oh, that's awesome! This one's not jacked up. It's the actual the actual comic. So you got the comic and the art print. Yeah. Cool. Signed by. Uh, I don't know who that is. Both signed by the artist. Yeah. This is a variant edition. Mm-hmm. And I can't see a name on the cover, so you have to look inside the yeah. cover. So very cool, Mr. Spider-Man. Mm-hmm. We got some other stuff too. I don't even know what Other it is. swag. Some, I guess, San Diego Comic-Con Band of Geek. That's probably the flyer. Yeah. Or the uh, yeah. flyer, but the this program. Was, this kind of... I was curious what this was. It's like a Deadpool something. I have no idea what this is. It's like a tissue with Deadpool. Oh, it's the cover seat thingy. It's for the toilet. Yeah, for the toilet. It's an ass gasket, Kato. <laughs> it's hilarious. You can take those with you wherever yep. you go now. And then it looks like a copy of the Daily Bugle. Ooh, it has a new Spider-Man on it. Oh, this is a promo newspaper for the new Spider-Man yeah. video game. Pretty awesome. Thanks, Matt. Cool, very cool. Yep. I'll take that home. You're a Spider-Man fan? No, I'm not. You're not? No. I'm a Batman fan. This this collection is mine. Hmm. The viewers just don't know it. Hmm, interesting. Yep. But yeah, that, for the collection update, what, like I said earlier, uh, it's probably going to get, the Flash is going to be pre, is going to be bought probably after this episode, to be honest. And then maybe New 52 if Joe doesn't get it, and then Iron Spider-Man from Avengers Infinity War by Iron Studios. Other than that, that's my collection update. Yeah, nothing, nothing too fancy, to be honest. Cool. Well, uh, Kato, now it is time for uh, Kato's Corner, we w- where we share some of your thoughts and comments from our previous shows. Yeah, so 
we've it's been a while since we've we've actually talked about it. So it's, there's gonna be a lot, but we'll just skim through some of these. I did men- remember there wasn't there was a comment where last time when you went solo, somebody did say they missed me. Yes. Don't uh, don't get uh, too big headed, Kato. Yeah. Don't get too big headed. All right, so let's start out with uh, boy band Kiko. I'm a new statue collector. I own several PVC statues, but a polystone statue is coming. Should I choose the window free from sunlight? Should he close the window yeah. free from sunlight? What did he say? Oh, yeah, sorry. What did I say? Chose. Oh, sorry. Uh-huh. So, yes, yeah. absolutely. You should uh, keep any collectible away from sunlight. Um, not like you can't ever have the window open, but you can't have something sitting in sunlight. Mm-hmm. It's going to make It's going to fade it. It's going to fade your paint on your statue. It may even melt your statue if you leave it out there long enough. Yeah. I have a crazy hot window here, and I have it uh, covered. I'm actually going to put out some blackout blinds there as well. The sun really beats down on that. No way I want that touching anything in the room, whether it's collectible or painting or artwork or anything like that. So, yes, mm-hmm. protect them against... Uh, Direct sunlight. Yeah. Next one, this probably this question is going to be for you, Joe. It's going to be from Woody Warren. Great room. Just started the col- collecting myself. What quarter scale Batman would you consider the overall best? I'm finding it hard to pick one that I really like. I'm probably going to say that new 52 Batman looks great. Yeah, but if you're new to collecting, you probably don't want a statue that's going to come out in 2020, Kato. True. And $800. Yeah, and $800. So. I really do like the uh, original Batman premium format. It's got mixed media. It's a great statue for your first statue. It was one of my first statues, and it got me hooked on uh, statue collecting. Mm -hmm. So um, I recommend that one. Another good one, if you can afford it and find it, is uh, XM uh, Studios Samurai Batman. Uh, That's kind of a different take on Batman, though, so if you want something a little bit different, Still really awesome. Still really high, high quality. You have to pay about fifteen hundred bucks yeah, for that one. Yeah, that's though. what I'm about to say. <laughs> uh, so, uh, original Batman uh, premium format you can get for cost. Mm-hmm. Um, but if you have some money to splurge, then uh, XM Studios is a good choice as well. Mm-hmm. And that's worldwide too. For more, did you mention that? What? That that XM Studios Batman is worldwide. No, he isn't. No, he's not. I thought that XM line that bat that summer after Batman came out they announced it worldwide. Yeah. Next up we got. Let's see where was it? Uh, Shafe Sirius said, "Set up a torture chamber to terrorize Kato Kid." Okay. Yeah, that guy hates you, Kato. Yeah. Um, a torture chamber for Kato. Um, we'd probably just make him um, play God of War twenty four seven because he apparently really hates that game. Next up, we got from the Paradox Nerd. Dude, love your diversity and love how you collect pretty much anything. I'm in the same boat because I, because if there is a line I want to collect and I can't afford to collect all of them in quarter scale, from I have hot toys to fill that void. Yeah, so got a couple of different comments about this. Some people like the variety. Some people say be more consistent. Yeah, I've heard, I saw some comments like that saying that too. Yeah, so. I see both points of view. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I think uh, I need to be more consistent, which is why I'm kind of cutting down on some of the lines. Uh, but then again, then you get tempted by stuff that doesn't belong in your collection, like the Ultimate Warrior. Yeah. So, yeah, consistent like a uh, consistent collection that I can think of is like Batman statue collector. Mm-hmm. He's got uh, all the Prime One Batman pieces. And that's all he has is Batman pieces in his collection. And that collection looks sick. Yeah. Um, but really then nice. again, I have a lot of different interests that I like. And I have weak willpower. So that creates diversity in my collection. <laughs> uh, I would agree a little bit more consistency. Um, so I'm kind of getting rid of some of the movie pieces. I'm kind of, kind of getting rid of some of the uh, Street Fighter pieces as well. Mm-hmm. And uh, the video game pieces will kind of get kicked out um, of the collection, too. So I'll have, like, um, Batman pieces. Mm -hmm. I'll have 
Marvel pieces. Yep. Star Wars pieces. Okay. And some video game pieces. Yeah, some. Not yeah, you got a problem with Star Wars, bro? No, I don't. I just wish the movies were better. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Let's see. Um, so we got John Blackmouth asking, most likely you, how did you get your XM pieces you used thought they didn't ship in the States? So, Marvel statues from XM don't ship to the States. You can get their new DC line and their new Batman line now shipped to the States. Uh, we'll have links in the uh, description of the video. Um, but for the Marvel pieces, you have to get them from someone who is able to buy directly from XM. And there are a lot of those people out there. So Facebook, uh, buy, sell, trade groups, eBay, statue forums, etc. Once you find a good contact, and you can get XM pieces from someone who can buy uh, directly from XM. So nope. they're not terribly hard to get. Mm -hmm. Next up, we got our boy Squizzy614. You have an awesome collection, Joe. I pre-ordered all the Iron Studios 110th Infinity War pieces. Can't wait to get them all to display next to each other. Should be a badass display. Honestly, they honestly look great together, to be honest. But if you bought them separately, I wouldn't recommend it kind of like how how like for my Spider man line having just one or two would just kind of feel off but having the whole thing is just like a diorama all together and i think that would be great and they're like usually like 100 bucks each so it's not too bad i mean i think having the whole set of a one tenth scale collection looks awesome mm -hmm. um i do have some one tenths in my collection as kind of accent pieces yep. like the dc collectibles which i really like that so uh, appreciate the comment squizzy yep and that's it for uh, kato's corner so that's it for Kato's Quarter. So uh, if you um, have any comments, questions, thoughts, opinions, suggestions about anything you watched in uh, this week's episode, then uh, let us know in the comment section below. We may even share your thoughts and opinions on the next episode. Hope you enjoyed this latest episode of Statue Talk. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Keep up to date on all of our latest unboxings, reviews, and statue talk also check out our website statuereview.com and give us a like on facebook on facebook i try to share all the latest previews and pre-orders in that location that way if you're tired of seeing videos of john mccain's funeral all the videos along with that kato you just want to see statues check out our facebook page and i will share the latest and greatest around the world of statue collecting. And remember, statue collecting is more than just a hobby, it's a lifestyle. This has been Joe Prozik. Thanks for watching.